country bucks the European trend. They're sportier and fitter, and yes, as a result, on the whole, healthier than most. Sweden has a much harsher climate than the UK and fewer daylight hours too, but still girls are much more likely to take part in school sports here and then make it a part of their lives as they grow up. On average, a Swedish woman is four times more likely than her British counterpart to be active. But the head of the Swedish Sports Confederation says it's because women here have a head start. We have been working quite a lot with more uh, women in uh, the position where the decisions are made, for example in uh, the executive committees and the boards and the clubs. Women are 40% of all those who are active in sport in Sweden. That also has to be reflected uh, in, in those uh, areas where the decisions are taken. In a suburb of Stockholm is Hudinge, this thriving sports club which can trace its history all the way back to the Swedish Olympics of 1912. They run an impressive array of girls' teams. Some of these players are following in their mother's, even grandmother's footsteps. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. As you can see, it's already dark. It's freezing cold. There's horizontal rain. All of these girls have been at school all day. And I have to tell you, this is one of the most enthusiastic football training sessions I have ever been to. In the bottom of it all, it's uh, just having a laugh and having a good time. Yeah. So do they need to be good? Uh, everyone can play. We never say no. You never turn anyone away? No. What's it like coaching them? It's like this. Uh, when I come from work, I'm often very tired and a bit depressed, to be honest. And then I come down and, and coach these girls and I leave full of energy. Yeah. Why is that? Um, because they are who they are, yeah? It's just joy. It's just pure joy. As these youngsters grow up, there are plenty of sporting role models. The 400 metres European champion started off, like many girls in Sweden, with football. I realised uh, after a couple of years that I was really uh, good at running, not so good with the, with the ball. So uh, it was uh, natural to just switch over to track and field. And, uh, I always loved running, so... Almost half of this country's population is a member of a sports club. From the age of 7 to 70, they simply make sport a part of their way of life.